it's Annie Painter, back with Little Art Dog and Annie's Art Institute to keep our color mixing going. Today we're going to do greens, lesson two. Our goal is to create a full sheet of yellows and oranges, which we've done already in lesson one. Our second lesson will be the greens. Our third, the violets. And then we'll do neutrals. And in lesson five, I'll show you how to make your own color wheel. In fact, we have two or three versions you can do. First, I want to talk to you a little bit about the supplies. Everyone should be using non-toxic washable tempera paint, water-based paint. I happen to purchase the Crayola brand, but if you have a brand you like better, great, use it. I'm using yellow, cyan or turquoise if you purchase it, and magenta. I'm using these two instead of blue and red because they just make gorgeous colors and that's what we want in our artwork. I also uh, would recommend that you use sturdy butcher paper or white sulfite drawing and painting paper. And all the supply list will be on my website for you so um, you can check it out later and get what you need. I have inexpensive easel brushes and I'm going to reach back and get a paper plate so we can mix on a paper plate. Just a simple inexpensive paper plate and some water to put your dirty brushes. But before we begin, every student of mine, whether they're three years old or an adult, has to follow the studio rules. Here's what I mean. You're going to work as an artist works, and that means I'll show you exactly how to mix. You're going to be respectful of the paints, the paper, the supplies, and each other. And you'll keep a private workspace. If you keep a private workspace, whether it's your kitchen or your living room or the outdoors or a full classroom, then nobody's work gets bumped and everyone is successful. Are you ready to start? Okay, for this part, we're going to need to have yellow and cyan or turquoise. So we'll get rid of our magenta and begin to squeeze and mix. Okay, for squeezing the uh, amount we need for green, start with more yellow than cyan. In fact, cyan will be very, very strong. So just a little bit to start with. Just so we be sure that we start with our primary, our main color, let's just fill a brush with yellow and make a big yellow sample. Now we're heading for these light, bright yellow greens. So we're going to pull some yellow into the center and just touch our brush. Just touch it to that strong cyan and start to watch the color change. Look how dark it is already. So I'm going to need some more yellow. Pull it in there. And I'm learning to mix all the greens I could find in nature, all the greens I want, want to use in my artwork. Oh, so pretty, so beautiful. And keep mixing a little bit at a time. It changes so fast, so be sure that you just grab more yellow if it starts to change too fast. And you can make a light, bright yellow green. Try for no streaks. Let's try to make it nice and solid. You'll notice I'm using no water to mix. You just want your paints to be solid and thick. Moving toward a medium green, I'm going to try to now be a little bit more brave with my cyan, my turquoise, and see if I can get a nice, bright sort of emerald green. Oops, lots on that brush. It's good, though. It's a streaky there. I'm just hurrying too much here. I need to slow down. Oh, that's a beautiful medium green. Now your color should be turning to sort of a forest green and then to a sea green with a lot of blue in it. So we're going to get a kind of a dark green. 
And now the challenge to try to take some of that yellow out of that brush and move more cyan or turquoise into it and make it really bluish. Let's see what I can do. Coming along. I love greens. They just go on forever. Uh, let's see about more blue in this brush. More cyan blue. Ah, there we go. Look at that. It's coming along beautifully. I think I can even do better. Squeezing the paint out of the brush and going right back into the turquoise cyan. Oh, that's so pretty. That's so beautiful. Let's see if we have what we need for the color wheel. I'm going to need a pure yellow, which we have here, and we also made one when we did oranges. We need light, bright yellow greens, and we have those. We're going to need a medium, a strong medium green, and a blue green. I have that, but you know what I don't have? I don't have a sample of the cyan or turquoise. So here's what I usually do. Rather than having a whole classroom of kids all change brushes and make one sample of cyan or turquoise, I just have a student helper or a parent helper go around with a clean plate, or if the kids have more um, cyan on their own plate, take a pure brush full of cyan and just give every student a sample. Then they have what they need and you have lots less trouble and mess. So there we have it, beautiful, a beautiful range of greens, everything we need for our color wheel. I hope you'll join me for lesson three and we'll make beautiful blues and purples and have a colorful day from Annie's Art Institute.